Welcome to A to S Learning. In this video, we will study about different modes of nutrition. As we all know, we require energy to perform various life processes. This energy is obtained from the food we eat. The nutrients present in food such as carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals and water are essential for obtaining energy and development of an organism. So the process of intake of nutrients and their utilization for various biological activities by an organism is called nutrition. And the method by which these nutrients are obtained by an organism is called mode of nutrition. Based on the mode of nutrition, organisms are classified into two major groups that is autotrophic and heterotrophic. In today's session, we will discuss about these two modes of nutrition. Autotrophic mode of nutrition In Greek, auto means self and troph means nutrition, which means self-nutrition. In autotrophic mode of nutrition, organisms prepare their own food and this is seen in green plants and in autotrophic bacteria. These autotrophic organisms contain a green pigment called chlorophyll which has the ability to trap solar energy. This trapped solar energy is used by the organisms to prepare their own food from inorganic raw materials such as water and carbon dioxide. This process of preparing own food by green plants in presence of sunlight is known as photosynthesis. Thus, autotrophs are the organisms which prepare their own food and the food produced by them are consumed by other organisms. Heterotrophic mode of nutrition In Greek, hetero means different and troph means nutrition, which means different nutrition. In heterotrophic mode of nutrition, organisms cannot prepare their own food and hence depend on autotrophic organisms for its food. This type of nutrition is seen in animals, fungi and in most of the bacteria. Since heterotrophic organisms depend on plants or other animals, we can say that the heterotrophic organisms are consumers which derive its nutrition from other organisms. We can classify heterotrophs based on the way they obtain their food from other organisms as follows. Saprophytic nutrition, parasitic nutrition, and holozoic nutrition. Saprophytic nutrition. The term sapro means rotten. In saprophytic nutrition, organisms obtain their food from dead and decaying matter. For example, bacteria and fungi follow this type of nutrition. They derive their food from rotten bread, rotten leaves, rotten wood, rotten fruits, etc. Parasitic nutrition. The term para means other. Parasites are organisms that live in association with other organisms. By doing so, they derive nutrition from other organisms. The organisms from which parasites derive their nutrition are called hosts. Parasites receive its food from host and usually they harm host. For example, Plasmodium which causes malarial disease in human beings is a parasite which harms the host. And this type of nutrition in which an organism derives its food from the host is called parasitic nutrition. Holozoic nutrition The term holozoic means feeding on solid food. Human beings and animals come under this category. In this type of nutrition, complex organic food materials are ingested through mouth and are broken down into simpler soluble substance with help of digestive enzymes and these simpler substances are absorbed by cells for various biological activities. Thus, holozoic nutrition involves ingestion that is taking in food, digestion that is breaking down of complex food into simpler soluble particles and assimilation that is using absorbed food molecules. So that's it for this session. In today's session, we have studied about autotrophic nutrition and heterotrophic nutrition. I'll be discussing about photosynthesis in my upcoming session. Thank you for watching and for more videos, please do like and subscribe to my channel.